Hey everybody, this is Panther City and in this video I want to talk about Tether. Everybody on Twitter seems to be talking about Tether these days. Everybody who's who wants to get serious about crypto because Tether has been like a lingering curse in the crypto world. It has been accused of fraud, I don't know, since 2018. And uh, that allegation continues till date. Here's why. As I've told you in the past videos, Tether only holds 3% of their reserves in cash. The rest of them, I think, are treasuries. And a lot of them are in commercial papers of God knows which companies. So there's an inherent risk in all these investments and it's a really irresponsible behavior to keep customers funds into such risky assets if the credit market pops tether would go underwater so in this video i just wanted to take a look at the largest holders of usdt tether at this point we are almost near certain that Tethers are not 100% backed, but yet the market believes and operates like the way it is backed by one USD every tether. And currently, Tether has over 60 billions of assets which they claim back their market cap. So let's look at the top owners of Tether 17 billion that's owned by Binance. So Binance is the tether whale, in fact, the biggest holder. Next we have Hobi. Both Binance and Hobi are exchanges. And followed by that we've got other accounts. And interestingly, tether treasury comes down at the very, I don't know, near bottom. And another wallet we see as Binance Cold Wallet which has 498 million tether so Binance nearly has you could say roughly 18 billion tether it's interesting because Binance offers 125x leverage on their futures contracts you'd wonder where they get so much tether from Anyway, futures are not the subject of this video. Basically, what I wanted to convey was that imagine if Tether goes bust, Binance will have major losses. And God knows how they're going to cover these. They have their native stablecoin, BUSD. And... Who knows, they might even try to use that to cover these losses. But it's interesting because if Tether collapses and if Binance gets pushed to the verge of bankruptcy, what happens to BUSD? BUSD could also simultaneously lose value and thus create a cascading effect. So if this happens, it's... It's probably the worst consequence, Tether sinking and also pulling BUSD, another stablecoin. It's the third most valuable stablecoin in the market. So I just wanted to warn the holders of BUSD to be to not think that they're completely immune from whatever is happening to Tether. And we don't know about the other stablecoin, USDC. That seems to be having much cleaner books. But again, nobody knows what's under the rug till you start digging into it. So that was it from this video. I hope you learned something and uh, I hope you take caution and trade responsibly. Thank you for tuning in. Goodbye.